I'm going to show you how to do trach care. Get all of your equipment ready. You need a trach kit, a towel, hydrogen peroxide, and saline. Okay. First, you're going to put the towel on your patient. Not up over the trach, but right under. Um, then open your hydrogen peroxide and your saline. If he has a dressing on, you're going to put on non-sterile gloves to take it off. You can see that the dressing has a cut in it to go around the tracheostomy. This is called a fenestrated dressing. It has a finished factory edge so that you don't get any wisps falling into the trachea. Most places aren't using that dressing because it is a dark, moist place for microbes to grow. Most places are putting a foam piece here to catch the secretions. You can change that PRN. Now you can take off your non-sterile gloves. Now we are going to open our trach kit. Make sure not to contaminate the sterile environment. Inside your kit are a pair of sterile gloves. There is no way to get these gloves on sterilely, so I'm going to get another pair. You, if you're going to do a sterile procedure, just bring another pair in your pocket. Now I have my sterile gloves on, up and away, and don't mess with those cuffs. Once you have the gloves on, you may be tempted to touch the cuff to fix it and pull it down. That's how you will contaminate yourself. You won't be touching the patient with the cup, so just leave it alone. Let it be. Okay, now we're going to figure out what we have in this kit and handle it appropriately. I'm going to open my sterile drape. Now I'm going to set up my sterile drape. Take it up so it's not touching anything, and when you open it, you have enough room below it. Now I'm going to set up my materials. I'm going to throw away the trait ties and the pipe cleaners. Next, you want to get your and your sterile Q-tips into the container. You're going to set all three items into a smaller compartment. Now you're done being sterile. Um, you can pour the saline into the two smaller containers. Two. 
and hydrogen peroxide into the larger one. Now I'm going to remove the inner cannula. Place two fingers on the face plate to stabilize it. Then unlock the inner cannula and remove. Hi, I'm Christina Fratangelo. I'm a graduate student at the University of Pittsburgh. And this is Kathy, our wonderful patient. All right. Now you're going to use the cotton swabs to clean around the tree. Now you're going to use 4x4s to clean the face plate of the drake. Pick up the 4x4s by the four corners to keep the middle sterile. Dip it into your saline. And now you can do the other side. The objective here is to get your patient clean. So if they have a lot of secretions, you're going to be doing this a lot more than shown. Now you're going to clean the inner cannula that is soaking in hydrogen peroxide. Pick it up by the white part, because that part's non stale Use your brush to clean out the inside. You're going to rinse it off with saline so that you don't get hydrogen peroxide on the patient. To get it back in the patient, stabilize the face plate again and slide it in. Make sure to lock. To put the inner cannula back in, slide it in, and then align the two blue dots to lock it. When the two blue dots are aligned, the trach is locked. Turn to the left to unlock and remove the inner cannula. To put the inner cannula back in, slide it in, and then align the two blue dots to lock it. Depending on your uh, patient's situation, if it is a fresh trach or a patient that has a lot of coughing and a lot of secretions, you need to make sure to stabilize the trach with one hand during the whole procedure. Um, if your patient does not have a cough and is resting comfortably and has had the trach placed for an extended period of time, you are able to let go of the trach plate for a few seconds. As a student, you will not be making these decisions and you will always have your instructor present while you are changing trach ties if that should happen.
using your dominant hand, take the suction catheter from the kick. Your non-dominant hand is going to become dirty. So you can use that to take off the package. You want to attach the catheter to the suction tubing. Ready? On the way up, or if, when the patient elicits a cough, you want to occlude the um, suction hole with your thumb. Ready? Feel better? You want to listen for any gurgling that the patient might have or any coughing. And you also want to monitor their oxygen saturation, which they should be hooked up to on the screen above you. You feel okay? At this point, you can remove the suction catheter and hook the mouth or oral suction back up to the catheter. you want to take out the inner cannula, that comes out by squeezing the two um, sides and it just pulls straight out. This goes into the garbage. And lastly, you want to replace the inner cannula. The inner cannula must always go back into the trach. Um, if the patient has a lot of secretions and they occlude the cannula, this can be removed and replaced, rather than not having it in and the whole trach actually being occluded. So this just slides in and then it clicks on either side. Okay? Okay. Lastly, when you're done, you want to replace the patient's trach mask, which is what they get their humidified air through. Sorry. Okay. That's too tight. And then make sure that your patient is breathing. Um, effectively, make sure their oxygen saturation is at a um, satisfactory level, which hers is 93%, and we're done.